You may have missed it, but something happened earlier this week that is going to end over a decade of misery for Faith Hill fans. Okay, maybe misery is an exaggeration, but the last Faith album came halfway through President George W. Bush's term. It's been nearly a dozen years since Fireflies, but that's set to end. On Monday, news broke that both Faith Hill and her husband Tim McGraw have signed with Sony Music Nashville. A record label spokesman confirms to Taste of Country that their deals involve multiple solo albums. Tim was previously on Big Machine, and Faith spent her entire recording career on Warner. This means new Faith Hill music is coming. Thumbs up this video if you're doing a happy dance right now. Personally, I'm a very serious newswoman, so I'm going to express my excitement by patiently waiting for the first single. Just over here waiting, Faith. Just take your time, it's fine. Whatever, no, whatever. Tim and Faith did the Grammys on Sunday night. It was there they posed for a photo with a bunch of Sony Music Nashville executives. Billboard was first to break the news on Monday, and so far neither artist has commented on the new deals or new music. This is McGraw's third record label, and his next album will be his first since Damn Country Music in 2015. Hill has released several singles in recent years, including two from an unreleased album on Warner. Her last significant hit was Sunshine and Summertime from 2006, but she and McGraw did score a huge hit with his Meanwhile Back at Mama's. That song provided this moment, which we only mention because we love this photo from the 2014 ACM Awards. Behave yourself, Mr. McGraw. Thanks for watching, you guys. Thanks for subscribing, and be sure to download the new Taste of Country app to stay up to date on all breaking country music news.